Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Dr. Edward Padama and this time we are going to discuss how to navigate the Pegasus LMS or the Arellano University Learning Management System. But before we start, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and my TikTok account. Both channels are dedicated in discussing research writing, tips, strategies, and the like. There are lectures, discussions, and PowerPoint presentations that can be used and has been used by teachers, college students, graduate school students, and foreign students in teaching and learning research writing. So if you are a teacher handling research writing subjects, this would be very useful for you and for your students. Now to our main discussion on how to navigate the Arellano University Learning Management System. Step one, open your internet browser, and this is usually Google Chrome, except if you are using Apple products like MacBook or Mac PC. In this case, you will have to use Safari. And then type the words Arellano LMS. This is indicated by the blue arrow located on the right side of your screen. When you press the Enter key, the browser will display the link to the site. This is indicated by the second image at the bottom of your screen. So you will see www.topservelms.com. This is the website. At the bottom, Arellano LMS is the link. So on the third step, click the link Arellano LMS to automatically divert you and take you to the actual site of the Arellano University Learning Management System. After clicking the link, you will now see the web page of the Arellano Learning Management System. Note, in order to log in the LMS, an official login name and password will be given and assigned by the LMS IT or LMS tech support. Interface will be different when you use cell phones, laptops, and desktops. So interface is the display of the web page that you will see when using cellular phones which is different when you use laptops and desktops. Interface is defined as the environment or what is viewed depending on the gadget that you are using. Number five, select the school branch or area to log into or where you are officially assigned. So these branches are displayed on top of the web page and these are the following. Sumulong, Abad Santos, Mabini, Rizal, Clary de la Siguera, Bonifacio, and the program ETIA. Now, before we continue, let me remind you that all branch interface has two options. These are basic education and college, except for one Sumulong branch that has basic education, college, and graduate school. This is presented on the right side of your screen. Another reminder is that different usernames and passwords will be given for different levels and different branches. After selecting the department where you are officially assigned, you will be prompted to enter your username and password. When entering or typing your username and password, be mindful and sensitive of the capitalization and characters that you type. After doing so, click the login button. Again, let me remind you that the interface presented on the right side of your screen is for laptop and desktop computer users. So the parts of your account or the learning management system when you have successfully entered will be the following. So you have the space for announcements, the LMS tutorial video, navigation, academic policy and manuals, contact information, timeline, and people or users who are currently online. When we zoom into the navigation bar located at the left side of your screen, this is what you will see. The navigation bar will be the frequently used part of your LMS account. This is where all activities are created and conducted. This is also where your class loads and schedules are reflected. So when you click My Courses, you will be able to collapse and view the load or subjects that you are assigned into that particular semester. 
When you click one of your specific assigned load or subject, this will collapse into the following. So you will be able to see the preliminary part, which is composed of the announcements, syllabus, and instructor's information. This is seen on the first photo on top of your right screen. The next part will be the four grading terms from prelim up to the final grading period or the final term. And then at the bottom part or the bottom screen, this contains the conferring apps that you can use for your class. In this case, you have Google Meet and Zoom. When you click announcement, this will collapse into the following. So as you can see at the bottom of your screen, you have a black button, which is add a new topic. By clicking this, you will be able to post reminders to your students. You can also use this to inform students and send the codes and passwords for your scheduled conferencing apps, whether it's Google Meet or Zoom. The remaining part of the preliminaries will be the syllabus, which will allow you to upload a copy of the course syllabus used in your assigned subject. And then the next part will be the instructor's information. The teacher assigned to the subject will be able to upload information that will be displayed when the students has opened their LMS account. Congratulations now that you have successfully navigated in the learning management system. The next question will be how to add an activity or resource in a term. But first, let us define activity or resource. This may refer to any of the following, an assignment, seat work, lesson, quiz, etc. Please refer to the illustration located at the right side of your screen because these are the activities and resources that will be available in your learning management system. To add any of this activity in a specific term, just click the Turn Editing On button located at the right side of your screen, indicated by the blue arrow. After clicking Turn Editing On, you will observe that the button has changed to Turn Editing Off which is good. This means that you have already activated your authority to add activities to that specific term. Another thing that has been added to your screen is the message add an activity or resource, which is seen at the bottom of your screen. You can now use this to add any activity or resource for your specific term. This will now allow you to add activities that your class and students can access. We will be dividing the discussion into different segments to better facilitate and recall the information presented. Try to actually use the system, especially the topics that has been discussed. Practice and keep doing this over and over again until it becomes second nature for you to maneuver and navigate through the system. It is true that it will take some time to master a specific level in using the system, but as we all know, practice makes perfect. Another advice, do not be afraid of making a mistake when using the system. It is through this that we all learn and develop our skill. Seek help and advice if you are faced with a blank and daunting wall. Okay, thank you very much, Arellano University teachers, for listening to this discussion. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, click the subscribe button and the notification bell to alert you when a new video is uploaded, and also please follow my TikTok account. So again, thank you, stay safe, and God bless. See you on the next video. Goodbye.